is gon' make a man When you pull up with a bag And all the bitches in your past They didn't wanna see you in Oh no, no Now you having it, girl Go and talk your shit Oh no, no Go ahead, shawty You know you deserve that We got potential We ain't even scratch the surface Couple niggas in your past They didn't wanna see you in Oh no, no That was practice, boo Now go and talk oh. your shit Oh no, no and what it is? And what's up? Woo, 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 woo. What it do, y'all? What it do? Hold on. I need to find y'all a little spot. Because we got some things to talk about. So. Hey, y'all. Like, what is up? What is popping? What is, what is cracking? I, it's, it's a lot cracking. It's a lot cracking if you've been watching my Snapchat and my Instagram. And possibly just on Twitter. So, let me go ahead and just get to the point of this video. Get straight to it. So, it's a lot that's been going on. It's just been a lot going on. Like, a lot. And, um, where do I start? Um, this year, 2019 has been very much hell. It has been hell. It's a lot physically, mentally, emotionally that has affected me and affected school and is affecting my personal life relationships friendships you know um let's let's oof, i don't even know where to start okay so yeah i, I don't even know where to start because i haven't done any real videos this whole year like i'm sitting trying to think about any content that I did, I didn't do anything this year. Like, I didn't even do anything for this. Well, I did a few videos for the summer. You know, showed y'all around the campus when I had summer school. When fall semester came in... Uh, yeah. That's really all I can say is fall semester was horrible. 2019 fall semester school was very just... Disgusting. Um... So I have taken myself and decided that um, I'm moving back with my mom. That's where I am now. I've moved back with my mom. I won't be attending college full. Well, I, no, I still attend college full time, but I won't be a on campus, you know, student. I would be off campus or out of state, off campus, out of state, taking full online classes. I won't be on campus. I won't be involved in anything. Um, there's reasons behind it. Mm, it's a lot to happen. Um, also, if you don't, if people, if y'all don't know by now, I'm pretty sure because I'm very happy to express it and let people know and just been posting like this. that. I'm pregnant. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. So there was a time when I said I was in gonna do, you know, I'm not ready for children. I don't want a child. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ready for that. Nobody's ever ready for a kid. Like, it doesn't matter if you marry and y'all been planning this for two years. You're never really prepared, mentally prepared, physically prepared, financially prepared. You might save the money. And you like, I'm financially prepared. You know, I know how much it's going to cost. But in reality, anything can happen to where you spend more than what you, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if I should tell y'all what it is. Because the majority of people already know what it is. But, I don't know. But, I feel like personally, I haven't been 100% doing my side hustle, which is YouTube. And, I have not been 100% in it. I didn't I didn't do any vlogs about homecoming because I didn't attend homecoming. Um 
I just I didn't do any videos with people because it's just a lot of friendships it's a, I'm telling y'all it's a lot that's happened in the past few months the last video the last official video I posted like I want to say the last official official video like official video and I'm not talking about reviews or nothing but an actual vlog or me talking might have been summer school because I think the last original video I did was I was at my best friend's house and I was giving y'all a description or I was giving a review about this hair. Um, but it's just, I, you know, I'm not a person who likes to talk about what's going on, what's in my feelings, unless you already know about it. If you don't, then I just don't really want to get into it. But I just feel like I need to let y'all know because I know that there's people who do watch my YouTube, who are your subscribed, who do be hoping I'm posting and I don't be posting daily. I don't post every week. It's a lot going on in my life. So for one, like I said, I'm pregnant. For two, it just was like a lot of personal stuff going on, relationships, you know, all of that stuff. So um, friendships, friendships, friendships. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not even. Ugh. I can't wait to tell stories about this stuff, about friendships and relationships and stuff. But in the meantime, um, I do want to give y'all that experience that I'm going through or I'm gonna be going through with my baby. I almost told y'all what it was. With my baby, um. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to do it. I just haven't figured out if I want y'all to experience as in the doctor's offices part. Like, y'all get to, but, because I only say that because some doctor offices don't allow you to record. Like, when I was down in um, North Carolina, um, the, um, the OB that I went to, you know, she said that you couldn't record, you couldn't record any ultrasounds or nothing. So, um, I mean, I think I'm just going to wait till about that due date time, time for the due date. And then I guess I'll just, um, just kind of update y'all every once in a while. Just kind of update y'all because what I'm about, I don't have my calendar y'all, so I can't even tell y'all. So I'm doing April, so. I don't feel like calculating, calculating it. So, but yeah, I'm doing April. Hopefully, it's on time, April fifteenth, twenty twenty. I'm praying that it comes on time. Um, I said it. I hope baby comes on time. Um, I've already picked out names. Um, I'm, it's just more of a discussion of the father wants it to be a junior. I'm not really dedicated to it being a junior and i get where he's coming from you know it's his first baby oh wait i just told y'all oh my god i feel so stupid <laughs> well i basically told y'all what it is if you caught it you caught it if you didn't but oh Hey, that made me mad, but oh well. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, he wants it to be a junior. I don't want it to be a junior just because um I just want my son to be still told y'all what it was. I just want him to be unique and have his own name. Um it's not like I'm against, you know, juniors or nothing, but I get where he's coming from, you know. He his first son my first son so of course you know what i'm saying that that is a thing a father i feel like that's probably a thing that all fathers want a junior you know some a, somebody named after them you know so but i just personally my heart is not going towards that because my heart is based on i like names that are meaningful or things that are meaningful like when you get tattoos it should be meaningful when you not because you like or in love with something, but it needs to be meaningful. So when you go to the grave, it still means something. You know what I'm saying? So I feel the same about names. Names 
should be meanful. Not saying that, oh, his name's not meanful because he's named after, you know, his dad. It's nothing to do with that, but it's just like, I've already kind of have a way of a wanting to do it. So we're kind of disagreeing on that part because I know his heart desire is so bad, you know, he, you know, it's his first one. So, you know, he's like, there's other, you know, you're going to have more kids, you know, you have more kids, you can name them what you want, but. anyway so yeah i'm planning on i'm just really rambling but i just really want you guys to understand that i just haven't just not do youtube i do youtube when i want to do youtube but it's just i had roommates that were always in the room as well as me being in the room you know i didn't really once i'm trying to think after freshman year i stayed in my room majority of the time like this semester this sophomore year I barely went out because it's just like friendships kind of escalated and then everybody was all the people that you know were close we all were close everybody was kind of like on their own thing you know they're all antisocial but it's like with me i'm kind of antisocial but i feel like i'm ready to you know i'm trying to get out i'm trying to get out and it's not like oh i don't talk to people i do talk to people but it's like i'm not gonna initiate it so my friends there a majority are like antisocial and don't like to do too much so it's like well i stayed in my room and then when it was when i wanted to record i had a roommate who you know stayed in the room majority of the time and it's like that's awkward you know what i'm saying so and then any other time that i wanted to record it just never went right like it never went right so went right so like homecoming i kind of did a video for homecoming but i didn't go to any of the events for homecoming because obviously i was pregnant and um i just i wasn't feeling homecoming at all like i wasn't feeling homecoming at all so i don't want to just keep talking about like i'm trying to get my point across about everything so um but yeah um so i'm planning on kind of giving y'all insight of my pregnancy so uh, everything else like school school uh, i don't know i just thought college would be different but college is really high school but you're just living on campus like shit. like people really let me tell y'all people really are disgusted and offended and feel some type of way because you are a student or a female a pregnant female in college and i felt like that was one reason that i was ready to leave like because it's like people it's nobody's business but my business at the end of the day it ain't got nothing to you know what i'm saying my family ain't gotta know nothing like nobody has to know nothing it's not their business but is their business because they're gonna support me so when i was at school and people found out you know we finally came out and was just like oh you know i finally came out i'm pregnant he finally started actually posting about you know she's pregnant or whatever people were getting offended like they were like catching like they were snapping they was like oh you should have chosen a better baby mother oh she look like she gonna cause problems she gonna put you on the chest like people were upset they was like why would you get her pregnant i'll be her ass no, no. i'm just like bruh like i've never seen so many people upset like are you freaking serious hold on but it's just like, are you serious? Like, why are you so concerned about me? Like, me being pregnant has nothing to do with nobody on this campus. Like, it really don't. So, like, I just got tired of it because I'm a tough person. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like all that. So, it's just like, you know, I'm pregnant. I can't be doing that. I can't be getting upset. I can't be stressing. I can't get depressed because everything I feel, he feels. So, I'm trying to be happy and just trying to be a better person be a great mom and just work for myself but it's just like it's so hard and it's like people really be bashing students who are in college with kids like it's not they just bashing me but they bashing him too like they're just like oh you having a baby in college what the hell what what like 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 the 
fuck. So that kind of just made me push away. Then people who I thought was really going to be like, not even really supportive, but just like I thought they were just going to still, you know, still be my friend regardless if I'm pregnant or not. And people switched up. And yeah. So anyway, moving forward. This is a big step to me in my life. Um, oh, let me tell you how it went with my parents. So, this is, all of this is my fault. Like, this is my fault. Not like, this is my fault. Like, it's all my fault, but this is my fault. Like, this is on me. So, I finally told my people maybe a month or two after I found out or you know I feel like a bad person now I think about it because I didn't think about it from that point of view of how I told them I I text I text I text them I know I know I know I know that's the worst thing you could do but I text my mom and my aunt because I felt like it was a burden on me. Like, I was holding this burden in for so long. And, you know, my mom kept just saying, I, I would never, um, you know, she said, I'll I be disappointed. I'll be upset. I don't know if I can go through it if, you know, you're pregnant. So, this is before we got into it. You know, my best friend got pregnant. And so, um... It's just, I was looking at, you know, everything with her, and then my other friend got pregnant. And then it was just like, dang, I made a promise that I, you know what I'm saying? I made a promise at least after, like, at least senior year of college. I'm done. But, you know, so it was kind of, on their end, it was disrespectful, first of all. And it was like, we they thought they were closer to me than that, and they felt some time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my aunt, I went to her, you know, she eventually came over and when I say came over, but like got over it, um, she finally got over it and she was just like, well, it's not that you're pregnant because for one, I'm proud of you because at least you know who the dad is, you know, it's not like you, you fucking every nigga and you confused or I know you're not just, you know, oh. So she's just like, you know, it is what it is. You're an adult. At least you're 20. At least you're not in, you know, you're in high school. You're 20. You're you're doing something with your life. It's not you sitting on your ass. You're just making babies. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm hurt because, you know, I thought we were closer to where you could at least call me, you know, stuff. Excuse me. Stuff that any, you know, any family member would say when they you know they want better for you so my mom she was just like i'm not for it i'm not really with it it is what it is but i think she's coming around now because it's like regardless she's a grandma i'm sorry i keep looking at my phone because it's like i can't hear it there we go but um she was like i'm not here for it you know da, da, da. but as times come i came back home She's coming around. I know she's still upset about it. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, My dad, Lord, I thought my dad was going to turn up. Like, not really turn up, like, be But it was more like, I thought he was going to turn up, like, what the hell in college? But my dad was just like, you're an adult. Hey, shoot. You feel me? So... If I knew the the person I was more concerned about was my mom because I already knew we hadn't made a promise and I basically broke a promise. But at the end of the day, it's a baby. A baby's a blessing. A baby's a blessing and a lesson. It don't matter what you're going through, how you going through it. A baby's a lesson and a blessing. At the end of the day, whether it cries, it ah! it throws up. You feel me? So um, yeah. Sorry, he's moving right now. He hears me talking. But, um, overall, I'm just hoping I have a great 
I have a, a beautiful I don't want to say a beautiful pregnancy because it's my first pregnancy so it's like what the hell hold on Working got me crazy. All this working got me crazy, but I'm still patient. Yeah. All I gotta fit to make it, make all this working got me crazy.